everybody, let's excuse the mess here. We're in the uh, dungeon, as it's so-called. Uh, I do uh, some work out here, repairs, setups, and all that stuff, and then other woodworking stuff. And then uh, with the baby and everything, I practice out here since I play a little bit loud. So what this month is, we have July 2022 Guitar Crate. Guitar Crate is a subscription service, and you can choose your level of involvement. They have various clubs that you can sign up for, and I encourage you to check out the website. Uh, I do the two packs of strings a month club, and like we do every month, we're going to cut the box open, and we're going to dump out the contents, and we're going to <laughs> do what we do every month. So, uh, this month, we have a Music Nomad sticker. We'll set that there. We have a Music Nomad all-in-one string fuel cleaner and lubricant. Complete string maintenance restores and preserves all strings and sounds, safely lubricates strings to play faster. Large applicator covers all six strings at once. Okay. And reading the instruction here, we have a lint-free microfiber cloth, a handle, and a large applicator pad. So basically what this looks like to me is some sort of uh, fast fret type material. So we have a storage container in the top, the nice cloth there. And what do we have here? Let's smell it. So it doesn't smell like fast fret and there's a little bit of residue in here. Um, it does have mineral oil to it, that's for sure. Um, a lot of these cleaners, they will have a similar type product in it. So this is actually pretty cool. The thing with fast fret, I'm not a huge user of it, but it comes in a metal tin and sometimes it takes up a bit of space. This would take up a bit of space, but it's going to lay a little bit of flat, a little bit of flat, a little bit flatter for you. Uh, what do we got here? We have a note. Congratulations. Happy belated 4th of July. Thank you to all who have served this country for us to enjoy our freedoms. This month, we want to give a shout out to Gravity Picks, who have these amazing new Gold Series picks, and for Plus members, the new Nexus 360. We are big fans of these new tuners. Okay, so I'm going to put the picks aside with a note. I'll go over the picks in a second. Okay, I got the Nexus 360 tuner. Uh, you get a Gravity Guitar Picks sticker. Okay, uh, I'll get these out of the way since they're on my lap. I have two sets of Daddario 11 to 49, and I don't believe it was my last video, I think it was the one prior, where I stated uh, that I like these on a PRS scale, that's 25 inch, in whole step down, which is DGC FAD, and I mistakenly called it DJC, and I have no idea why, there's no good reason for it. But uh, one full step down, you would go from standard tuning, so A440, EAD, GBE, uh, one full step down would be DGC FAD. And on a Paul Reed Smith, I like 11s uh, in that tuning. Uh, I actually like 12s, but 11s give you a little bit more slinky feel when you're playing. I feel that, and I say this every single month, uh, that the Daddario regular blue pack makes the best bang for the buck. Uh, but I am slowly becoming a convert to the NYXLs. Uh, and then what do we got here? We have a note from Music Nomad. Keep it simple setup, KISS, with precision gauges and tools. And it looks to be an advertisement, as they so call it, for Music Nomad. Um, Music Nomad makes great products. Uh, here they're advertising a truss rod wrench, a screwdriver set, a nut file set, string height gauges, radius gauges, string action gauges, and a truss rod gauge. Uh, in a previous month's guitar, we received the truss rod gauge. I haven't used it because I do all mine by eye, for the most part, for the most part there. I do have my gauges for this. I also have one of the string action gauges. My radius gauges are made by somebody else, and same with my nut uh, gauges. And same with my uh, nut file sets. They're made by a Japanese company that has fish on them. But I would like to look at more nut files. Uh, it's always good to look at tools. Um, anyway, Music Nomad has a very comprehensive library of tools, kits, and items that you can use for your instrument. And we will get to the next item here, the Nexus 360 USB rechargeable tuner. It says accurate tuning, bright display, and NED Steinberger design. I don't 
want to break my headstock off to have to use it. That's a joke. Um, let's open this up and see if it actually comes with a charge in it. Because if it does, I have a guitar right there. And we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot, see what happens. So it comes with a charging cable, which is very handy. You probably already have about 30 of them around your house. But uh, let's see what we got here. And uh, we'll see if it has a charge in it already. It does not. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug this in and give it a quick charge while I chat with you guys about Guitar Crate and their other services. I happen to have a USB charger here on my tool bench that I can plug this into once I move one of these chargers. Sorry you're seeing the back side of me here. Help if I turn it the right way. USB chargers live in three-dimensional space and by that I mean you will be able to turn your cable two times and then the third time it'll work. Okay, so we got a charge going right now and are there any destructions in this? So let's come in with the destructions. Um, oh, this talks about the player's reward circle and there's no player rewards points on this. Uh, there are on the strings. So while we give that a quick minute, two minute charge, uh, just to get enough juice to tune that guitar there. Let's talk about the player reward circle. So when you get Didario strings, you can check your pack and it'll say here right on it, it'll give you a big code. And the code's a pain in the ass. It's one, two, three, four, five, uh, nine, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 characters. Um, pain in the ass because it doesn't flow real nice, but if you go to their website when you have, say, six, eight packs of strings, you spend 10 minutes logging all your points, you can get a lot of cool stuff from there. Uh, I've gotten t-shirts, um, a gear bag, strings. You can use it on a lot of things, just not on um, some of the things that you have to pay for. Like I buy my custom fix from the Dario through their website. You can't use the points for that, but it's a really great program. And then if you're changing enough strings that you would be someone that would benefit from the recycling program, they will send you a prepaid box. And then when you fill that up with several pounds of strings, uh, you can send that into them and they'll recycle them. So if you are not already signed up for the player rewards, I would strongly suggest it. Um, tell you what we'll do with this gravity pick sticker. So I have, pardon the mess here. Do I have that latched? Yep. So I have another pedal board case that I'm working on. Well, not the case, I'm not working on it, but the pedal board I'm working on. And with your case, you gotta put some cool stickers on there. So right beside our Voodoo Labs, we'll put a gravity pick sticker. Why not? I mean, we're just killing a minute while this thing charges because my video production sucks and I don't have a way to cut out your weight. So and we'll also add the Music Nomad one to it too. Let's see here. Will that fit? Well, that will fit. I didn't screw that up. I thought for sure I messed that up. Well, maybe I did. I don't know. It's a case. It doesn't need to be perfect. There we are. And I didn't mess that up. All right. So there we go. That's on there for my second pedal board that I'm working on. We'll throw this crap in the garbage. And then... Oh, there's my garbage can. Sorry about that. We'll see if this has charged long enough to check our guitar's tuning. See if we can power it on. It's telling us we have a low battery, but we'll give it a shot here. So we'll get our guitar. We'll see if this gave us enough for one tuning. And I have a tuning tip for you guys here. 
So when you're tuning, uh, in this case, that one's spot on. Let's get one here. So this is sharp. I'm going to go flat, come up to where I think the note will be, and go there. So I want to come at the note from below the note. And I find I have more success with keeping the guitar stably in tune that way. I would say that is very accurate. And that was with, what, a two-minute charge on that? So this month's Guitar Creek, we got the fast fret looking stuff here that comes with a microfiber cloth. We'll wipe that on there. And like I said, I smell mineral oil, but it almost smells uh, like the scent is similar to their, um, it's not the F1 polish, yet, or I'm sorry, the F1 oil, it's their actual polish. We have that, we have our tuner, we have two packs of strings, we have the gravity sticker that we installed, we have the gravity picks that we, uh, you know what, we'll look at them here while we're at it. A, a lot of the gravity picks I've seen have been like a plexiglass type material. So this here seems a little bit different, almost more like a regular guitar pick material. We'll open this up here. We have four of them. We have, maybe, Gravity Picks use code GRAVITY15 for 15% off. There you go, use that code. We have a gold 1.5 millimeter. We have a gold 0.75, a gold one, and a gold two. And uh, I normally play with a very, very thick pick, so we'll start with the 0.75, the thin one, and uh, Yeah, that, that pick there is too flimsy for the way I play. Let's try the one. Uh, little stiffer, but not quite where I like it. We'll go with the one five. Much better. And then we'll try the two here, see what we have. Um, I, I would be between the two and the 1.5. I actually prefer a pick with a sharper point than that. So uh, these won't get played by me, but I will throw them in the bench uh, for availability for other guitar players I jam with or whatever, or just in the bin for the fun of it. But uh, this month's pretty cool. We get a tuner, we get some string cleaner, we get some picks, we get our strings, uh, sticker. And uh, other than that, that's a pretty good month. So we will see you next month with the August 2022 guitar crate. And um, I'm actually gonna change my string subscription again. I'm gonna change it back to nines or tens, whatever I don't have in stock. And I think uh, for one of my next videos, what I'd like to do is I'd like to compare these two reverb pedals, uh, Strymon Blue Sky and a Walrus Slow. And I got a few other pedals I'd like to compare and do a little sample one. And then I have one other item here. I just picked this up and I'll be using this to switch on the loop and off of the loop. So this here, it's a JHS Red Remote. You plug this into a switchback and then what you can do is you can have a loop that you turn on and off for an amp like that there, the Mesa Badlander 100, that does not have a switchable effects loop. So that's another video, that's not Guitar Crate related, that's just me rambling. Um, stay safe, everyone be happy, have a good day, and we'll see you next month.